guys, this is Sophia and welcome to, I think, what is my first luxury haul on YouTube. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is true. But this past weekend in Boston, it was tax-free weekend and so I fully utilized that to my advantage. And even though I am currently in the process of moving, the reason why I utilize this is because Seattle, which is the next city I am moving to and where I will be by the time you watch this video, has a 10% sales tax. And to my knowledge, they don't ever do a tax-free weekend. So I really wanted to kind of get this out of my system. <laughs> I have a few things in different categories. So I figured I'd start with the first thing, which is a new handbag. Oh, wrong way. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I have a whole video I am filming dedicated to it, but I am gonna to reveal to you what it is. And so if you wanna look into it, by all means go for it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I can see if I can like throw in a Q and A at the end of that video. So without further ado, here is the bag that I got. It is a vintage large Campana Hobo bag. It's essentially a big tote in a really delicious chocolate brown, and I'm very excited about it. It is a very soft bag, but like I said, I have a whole video dedicated to this bag as well as my The Real Real Experience. Okay, let me put that back in its dust bag. And then I'm gonna start with really this small orange box. We all know what orange box means. This is an item that I do own, but I got in different colors, so this isn't going to be like a new thing for me at all. But here is that Classic H dust bag. I'm just going to take it out here. And there it is. It is a pair of Pop H earrings from Hermes in this really beautiful sky blue with silver hardware. Right now the ones I own is white and gold hardware and I have some silver jewelry so I am very excited to wear this. Put that away. And then let's start with the medium sized box. This is probably, I'm pretty sure, my first ever Celine purchase. I, if you are a fan of Celine, you probably have seen these on social and I'm not gonna lie, I bought the hype and I'm also not gonna lie, I kind of bought this with the intention of returning it if I don't like it. I'm just gonna show you and then get into story time. But this is a box, very, very nice. And here it is, maybe by th that you already know what it is, but that is the case for it. There's the logo. Just quickly open it right here. I'm not gonna like undo this because like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping it yet. But here it is. Yep, it is those sunglasses. Um, these are basically sold out everywhere in stores. And I was just literally, I came back from the gym and happened to check if the website had it and they did. And so was, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just get it and then try it again because a few months ago, I actually did remember trying these on in store and I was umming and eyeing and then I started seeing it on social media and I started questioning whether or not I liked them when I first tried them. I don't remember. So I'm giving them another shot. Here they are. They actually did not have the silver ones in stock, which I might have actually ended up getting those if um, the golden ones hadn't been available, but and I will say part of the reason why oh no, it's not focus. I got these is because of the fact that these actually have like a no, like a nose thing. Um, I a lot of my sunglasses right now are plastic, and so it does slip off really easily. And I have a very low nose bridge. So, anyways, moment of truth. Okay, first of all, they're very comfortable. Uh, no one can fault Celine for not making comfortable sunglasses, I will say. Like I said, this is my first ever Celine sunglass, so. Um, but I don't know that I love them. <laughs> they look like goggles. Like, you know the ones you wear to go swimming? They don't look good on me. Am I, am I going crazy? Let me take a photo, because 
Maybe I'm like just maybe I just can't see on the viewfinder. Maybe I'm going nuts. They are very good quality. Like that is a hefty metal. See, it looks good on a side. And even though the photo is a little blurry there, I don't think I like these. I don't think they fit my face shape. If anything, it makes my face look chubbier. Okay, well, I'm going to show my boyfriend these just so he can share his opinion. But these are going back. I, I Like, I don't love them. Like, I, like... If I tie my hair up. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I gave it a try. And the good thing about ordering these online is that I can return it and get my original form of payment back on my card. But I believe if you buy them in stores, you only get store credit, which is a really weird thing that luxury houses do. So I'm going to show my boyfriend these, but I'm going to put all the packaging back. I'm not too disappointed because I kind of knew that was going to be the outcome, but we're going to move on to the big bag here. Okay, it's so big I cannot even... Okay, I'm just going to take it out of this bag first. One of the things that I really wanted to get during this weekend was a pair of loafers. I had my eye on these Hermes ones as well as this other Hermes pair. However, the weekend before I had actually gone to Hermes to like pay for my earrings because they let me do that, tax free of course, and I tried on a pair that had a very similar look and I believe it was the same kind of leather and I literally could not get it on my feet. And so I was a little wary. I ended up going into St. Laurent because I had tried on a pair of sunglasses at Saks and so I was trying to see if maybe they had it in their store. They didn't. And I was just, so I was just kind of walking around and I saw these shoes and I was like, ooh, they look awfully similar to the Hermes ones. And they are, they are cheaper, but don't get me wrong, they're so expensive. <laughs> so, um, here is the box. I'm just gonna open it here. And I, I have not opened this. You just saw me open the bag. So here they are in its dust bags. So here it is. It is a pair of black chunky-ish loafers. And if from a distance you cannot see, but it does have a little bit of a YSL logo right here. But like I said, you can't tell because it is fully black. And I even like took out my phone while the guy was looking for a, like the correct size for me to have him see compared to the Hermes ones like which ones he likes and he liked these ones better actually because he liked how inconspicuous the logo was so for these shoes I got it in a size what size was this I think it was 37 and a half 38 was a little bit too loose you know what I'm almost certain it's 37 and a half so and these are actually really comfortable. This isn't a patent leather, which I've never owned anything patent. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of how this wears over time and like if it's going to hurt or not. But like based on like wearing it, this is not super, super stiff, which the Hermes ones were so stiff. So even like trying to try them on in the store, I knew from like my previous experience at Hermes that if it doesn't feel like it can mold to your feet when you try them on, it's not gonna do it ever. So I'm very excited that this one is a little bit, has a little bit of give. So that is my loafer of the year. That is it for my luxury haul. If you have any questions about any of these items, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.